Psychology Hour Interviews. Well, well, welcome to Rockology Hour, the interviews. I'm your host, Jake Story, your resident rock on us, sir. I host the Rockology Hour radio show, which airs on Riverside Radio every Thursday night. I'm bringing you all the interviews I do on that show. If you've never heard Rockology Hour before, it is an alternative music show which has uh, interviews with some of the hottest bands on the scene, promotes lots of up-and-coming artists you may not have heard yet, and also helping you rediscover some old classics you may have forgotten about. Uh, So, yeah, this podcast is all the interviews from the, the radio show. And I have another cracking interview for you this week. As I sat down with Henry Cox, the front man of Boston Manor, uh, that was a couple of weeks ago at the time of recording, and it was about a week before their new record, Glue, came out. And if you've heard Glue, you'd understand how awesome that record is. It did definitely live up to the hype. It's an insane record. Uh, so it was really good to uh, to speak to Henry, I say a week before it dropped, so the anti- anticipation's building. We're not sure what to expect, uh, and he gives us a nice kind of breakdown of of uh, the, like the making of the record, and he also has a pop at Stapioki, and you find out all things Boston Manor. So sit back, relax, pop a goal one. This is my interview with Henry Cox from Boston Manor. That was Plasticine Dreams by Boston Manor. And oh my God, what a tune that is. I'm so fired up to hear Glue. Um, But let's find out some more information about this forthcoming record and more about information about Boston Manor, Henry himself, and then see how he gets on at Stapioki. Where is he going to chart? Is he going to be number one? Is he going to score over 18? Or is he going to bottom out? Is he going to be below loathe? We'll find out. You've got to stay tuned. Rockology on Riverside Radio. A little bit of housekeeping, I should mention. Um, The sound isn't fantastic. The internet was playing up a tiny bit, so if it does cut out a little bit or is a bit like... I apologize, but not a lot we can do in these weird circumstances we are living in right now. But you can hear it. It's it's all there. You just got to... Just got to grin and bear it, stiff up a lip, all that kind of jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna have to now do the weird thing where I throw to myself in the past. So Jake, take it away, you sexy beast. This is Henry Cox from Boston Manor. You're on Riverside. I am joined on the Skype machine by the front man of one of the most exciting rock bands on the music scene at the moment. Krang has even said that you're the voice of the new generation. I am joined by Henry Cox from Boston Manor. Henry, how are you doing, sir? Doing well, doing well, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all good, thanks, mate. Uh, how are you finding this uh, this quarantine life? Yeah, I, pretty strange. Um, but honestly, I've I've, tra- I've been trying to sort of enjoy it and um, make the most of it, and you know, could be, could be a lot worse. So, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm living happy, you know. Yeah, good. What, you, what kind of stuff you get up to? You binging Netflix, uh, PS4? What what were you, what are you mm-hmm. doing to pass the time? Uh, just writing, man. Just writing loads of music every day, and oh, um, nice. yeah, you know, uh, play, playing playing a little bit of FIFA every now and again. You know, treat myself at the end of a. I've written are a lot you... of songs <laughs> that day, and a bit of FIFA. No, but, are you a pro clubs man? You what? Sorry. Are you a pro a pro clubs man or just, just yeah, online? I'm doing I'm doing the yeah no I'm doing the the um the be a pro career mode at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to play I'm playing Blackpool, trying to get them all the way to the Premier League. <laughs> which is going to take a long time. I think, the Tangerine Dream. The Tangerine Dream, exactly. Tangerine so I think you're a Blackpool fan. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not going to pretend I'm like <laughs> massive, a massive footy guy, but, you know, I go to games every now and again, like Christmas and stuff, and, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've grown up in Blackpool my whole life, so yeah. it's always been a part of the town, really. Yeah, you, Do you still uh, live up there at the moment, or have you moved elsewhere? Uh, I live in Manchester now. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. We should probably talk about your new record, which I'm super stoked about. Uh, your new record, Glue, comes out on the 1st of May. Um, yeah. What, what can we expect from this? Um, it's, well, it's by far our most diverse record. Um, it's definitely a, um, it's very different to anything we've done before. Well, it isn't, it isn't. It's, it's, I think there's something for everyone. Like, if you like our early stuff, 
you might actually mm. like glue more than the last record but it is our most sonically diverse record and yeah it's 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 very exciting every track on that record genuinely offers something different mm. which uh is, is is cool i'm looking forward to to hearing people's perceptions of things and and um i like really getting involved with fans about things and 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 hearing that feedback like you know after shows and stuff we'll talk to some of the fans and i really get a kick out of, of people's criticisms as well as their, their <laughs> well, do you read their, the comments on the <laughs> yeah, yeah comment reader uh, i try i try not to do that but um i think i think uh it's good to every now and again you know because mm-hmm. if you're too sensitive about that stuff then uh you know it, it you you're going to be out of luck pretty soon because it's it's you just can't you, you can't be sensitive really but yeah to be fair we've never been a band that have attracted a lot of um a lot of like hate online or anything like people are fairly chill with whatever we do which is cool yeah. we've got a really good fan base that just kind of come along for the ride with kind of whatever record we want to make so i'm mm. hoping that uh that they'll enjoy this one yeah well uh, this brings back to the to your record welcome to the neighbor because that was a bit of a sonic switch from the, the record previous because you were kind of originally kind of i guess a pop punky band and then you kind of released to this record was a bit of a diversification from the first record uh, and it went down a storm and i really respect bands which take risks like that uh, and because it opens you up to whole new audiences uh, are you taking a similar step with glue yeah th- there's definitely um like I said, there's peaks and troughs. There's a lot of songs that all sound quite familiar, but um, you know, over the since from recording the last record until now, we've we've gotten really into um, synths and and, um, and like programming and drum machines and, and having fun with all that those gadgets and stuff. So that's definitely made it crept its way into our into our music. But um, you know, we're still we're still a rock band at the end of the day, and we're still trying to make like heavy music at times and yeah. soft music at other times. So. Yeah, it's it's just the product of what we what we've been listening to, I guess. Yeah, I, I saw um, uh, the artist LeBrock did a did a remix on one of your tracks. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. that has like kind of a lot of kind of simply simple wave elements to it. Uh, did that kind of influence the decision going forward? Because that that came out amazingly. Did did that influence your decision on this record? No, not really. That just was just something cool that somebody sent to us once and we're like, hey, this band's done a remix of your track. And we were like, oh, cool. Like, we should we should put it out. Like a yeah. But it, what it, I don't I don't really I'm not that into like the kind of 80s pop thing. I know when Strange Things came around, there's a big resurgence to that kind yeah. of stuff. And there's some bands that do it really well. Like LeBrock do it really well. Gunship are pretty cool. Uh, but it's, it's I love like Gunship. In my right. thing. But yeah, they're a sick band. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, um, Fleiss, no, Fleiss are, sorry, carry on. No, no, sorry, you go on. Uh, well, I was going to say, Fight Star, you, you remind me in the sense uh, that they, in every record they did, they kind of try to throw new elements into the mix. I believe there's a record where they brought strings in. The, the last record, they had synth elements to it. Um, yeah, I was just saying there's some similarities between you guys. I don't know if you're a fan of them. Yeah, yeah, Fight Star were, were a big band for us growing up, for sure. I guess it's not necessarily about like trying to bring things in each album you got to like top it or change it like i i feel in a way that maybe the, the the material that we're making now after this album that we're working on at the moment i think you know probably won't be as dissimilar to the music we've already put out but i think it's just about making music that you genuinely sort of interests you and and, and pushes you a little bit as well especially once you've already put out a couple of albums like you really yeah. do want to keep it interesting because it's going to get really stale otherwise but challenging yourself with new sounds and experimenting with other genres i think is really healthy for an artist mm. i noticed i noticed you uh one of the tracks uh liquid features don florini from trophy eyes uh but that came out a few months ago but i really like bands which kind of collaborate and look to kind of get a kind of a crossover of audiences there how did the collaboration with john come about um it's john floriani by the way. am i sp- just, oh i've been pronouncing just, wrong just this whole the time <gasps> i'm sorry john <laughs> no, i don't mean to throw you under the bus now just <laughs> Yeah, no, he's he's uh, he's just a really old friend of ours. Like we've talked with Trophy Eyes so much over the years, and they're some of our best mates. So it's just a kind of a natural thing. But we 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 had that second verse already written, and then it was like, you know, what sound really? His, his voice would just sound really good on that. Like his sort of baritone voice would be lovely on that. So yeah, we just asked him to do it, and he sent it back in a week, and then put it on the track, and it was just perfect. Really, nice. it's a shame because he was going to be performing it with us on the road. 
a couple uh, of weeks, but now that's that's been pushed back. Yeah, it's a shame now. I guess yeah, everyone's suffering in that aspect. I'm dying to go to a gig, and I'm sure most of my Brock Holly Jail listeners are. I knew I'd get called out on his surname there because I was actually looking up YouTube videos of him in it. We're doing an intro to see how he pronounced his surname. And every single one, he was like, Hey, I'm John from Trophy Eyes. I was like, Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> so I took a punt, and now I'm, now I'm firmly under the bus. Um, oh, sorry. No, that's all right. No, I, I, I belong under the bus. It's, it's quite, quite comfy, actually. Um, if you could collaborate or sing on any other artist's record, um, which uh, which artist would you like to see, um, feature on and why? Would I feature on? Or yeah, I, so would you, would, you would be on their record. You would be on their track. Oh, I don't know. I, I couldn't say because I'd, I'd, I'd be nervous about being on anyone's record Ooh, like, yeah. in case I'd ruin it. Like, I yeah. know a million artists I'd want to have on, on, on our record, but... Uh, who who would you so who is um who would be like a dream feature for you guys if you could get anyone in the world living or dead let's let's open it up who would you like to to collab with um i think i'd love to have chino from deftones sing on, on one of our songs that'd be really cool one of my favorite bands oh my god which what's your favorite deftones record um it's hard really because i think white pony obviously has the most sort of consistently likable tracks it's probably their biggest record but there's merits on all of them i i, I really like saturday night wrist and not not many people seem to like that one but i love and i like adrenaline as well the first album yeah but yeah white white pony is the the big dog in the in the lineup there <laughs> i'm yeah hopefully their new record comes out this year i'm absolutely fired up and yeah, chino does so. do a lot of collaboration so maybe down the line he, he, you know he might be able to work with him then who, who knows yeah who knows did Boston Manor kind of start on the Blackpool music scene uh, originally? What was that like? Or was, were you kind of playing gigs outside of Blackpool when you guys were starting out? Well, we've never played in Blackpool. That's the funny thing. Wow. Um, but I, I know we're all like, so we rep Blackpool so hard, we've never technically played there. But we are from there and we all played only in Blackpool in, in um, all of our like bands that prior to Boston Manor. We were all in different bands, Jordan, Jordan Asher in a band, Dan and Mike were in a band, I was in a band. We used to play together and we used to put on shows together all the time. So we knew each other from kind of like the local scene. Mm. And it was actually when we went away to uni that we sort of like decided to start a band in this style because we'd never been in a band together. And we were like, oh yeah, we all kind of like are into the same music. So we just kind of went from there really. Um, oh. But yeah, oh, nice. we yeah. haven't ever played, played our hometown. We plan to soon, but it's just not really been the right time. Maybe Bloomfield Road open up the stadium. <laughs> One day, be well, I just heard the news today. It's time for us to play Stapioke. Are you you're open to playing my Stapioke game? My quiz game? I don't know, man. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'll give it a I'll, try. I'll I was gi- watching Scott Stapp videos on Catatonic Youth the other day, actually. Oh wow! I love done your research. Sure that Instagram page. Well, was it the Scott Stapp? What was his Instagram? No, page? just the the, the the catatonic youths. Oh uh, no! Have you, have you seen that? No, okay, but check, I'm gonna check out. out. <laughs> it's also catatonic like, youth. Yes, it's all sort of like uh, it's I don't know. It's just funny stuff, but the, they they sort of cut up a lot of. Uh, videos funny videos from the the depths of the internet sort of in, in our sort of alternative culture world but uh the, there was a Scott, the scott's that one the other day which was very funny i'm gonna definitely check that out uh for listeners at home i'm sure they're aware of the the, the game but i will sing lyrics to henry in the voice of scott stapp and henry has to guess the next line the band and the track each there's 10 questions two points for each question um the league standings are we've had seven bands so far uh, this year do it we've got Loven sixth Vinny from Wolf Hour in fifth uh, Foxjaw fourth uh, Jamie Lenman was third Sinker second and Milk Teeth and Take Flight a joint first with 18 18's the one to beat Henry <clears throat> good luck wow okay <laughs> okay here we go <clears throat> let me do my little warm up me 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 okay okay number one Hey, you, you're a star. This might be close to home, this one. Yeah, that is Oz, and it's past yeah. the scene dreams. Yeah, and the next line? Uh, 
Thought I had a point to make. I don't remember. Yes, correct. Lovely. Full marks so far. I would expect nothing less. Um, and because a lot of these bands who've been before have uh, have been in kind of twos and threes, I'll help you out as much as I can because it's much harder to do on your own. Okay. Lovely start. 100%. Number two. She looks like the real thing. She tastes like the real thing. Mm. I don't know. It's, so is that is that the same melody then? Yeah. The melody it reminds me of the, actually a fight star track Amethyst. I think they may have pinched the melody or borrowed it a little bit. Um, no, I'm I'm blanking it, on it, that. Uh, I can give you a clue. I think you reference this track in I think it's Plast, uh, Plasticine Dreams. You reference this in one of your lyrics. Oh, is it is it is it Joy Division? Oh. It's oh, close. Hang on, hang on. 90s is UK. It, it's, ra- it's Radiohead. It's Radiohead. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it this song? Um. And this track. Did you get the track? Sorry, I didn't hear. No, I didn't know. Okay. Uh, the track is "Fake Plastic Trees," and oh, the line. Oh, it's fake plastic tree. Okay. Oh, did you say that? Yeah, sorry. That's the line. Yeah, 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 that's the Oh, line. sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> I misheard you. My bad. Uh. Okay. So I'll give you two for that. Number two. Okay, four out of four so far. I watch you a train. I don't know. I've done the melody wrong. Sorry. Let's grab that. <clears throat> One more. It's One more time. To the house of black. <laughs> oh, you've already done. Okay. Yeah. Well, you did get it off. I completely got the melody wrong. Deftones. Did you get the next line? Even though I didn't even uh, get to the end of the first line. But <laughs> like you never had wings. Yes. And you feel so alive. I watch you change in you. It's like you never had wings. Okay. Um. Six out of six so far, Henry. Absolutely smashing it. Okay. Number number four. I am a human and I need to be loved. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. I can, I can give you a clue. The intro of Plasticine Dreams reminded me of this song with, I think it's like the tremolo. At the beginning. Oh, uh, oh, I get it. Uh, it's Dismiss. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the name of the song now. Do, do you know the next line? Yeah. Um, just like everybody else does. I can't, I can't remember. Yes, that's it. That is, that's the line. <laughs> that's the line. Uh, you just haven't got the track name. So you got the line. That's yeah, one. I, I can't. I'm blanking. I'm, uh-huh. I'm not a Smiths fan. Fair enough. Um, the track is How Soon Is Now. Uh, but that's one and a half. Yeah, it's pretty soon is the answer to that question. <laughs> I'll get a half. All right, cool. Yeah, you get, yeah, you get one and a half. Because um, <laughs> uh, I'm, being, I'm being lenient. You're on your own. You need to... You, these these lone wolves need some help. It's tough. It'll get well, tough. Are these all... Are the rest of them all had somebody else? Helping it? Um, the only person... Oh, no, no. So Vinny from Wallflower was on his own and Jamie Lemon was on his own. Everyone else was in twos and threes. Ah, so I'm if being. I had, if I had the fellas here, we'd crack exactly. this one out. Exactly. Okay, number five. I don't want to waste my time. Become another casualty of society. So, some 41. Yep. Um, I'll never fall in mind. Yes. <laughs> What's that song called? Um, Probably their biggest hit. I know, I'm, I'm just blanking. What oh, no. uh, the spotlight in, is in on. In 2D, in 2D. Ooh. Obviously it's in 2D. Sorry. Oh no, it's not. Oh no. Oh, it's that lit. Because oh. I'm in 2D, but I'm trying to keep... Course, it's not that song. It's not, it it's not so that I'm song. I'm hearing it in Scott Stapp and it's throwing me off. That's, the, that's Stapioki. Um... It's actually not in too deep. It's it's the other one. It's from that record. Right? Yeah, so you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, and did you you? I think you did get this next line. Yeah, I got I got the next line. Yeah, I'll, be, uh, I'll never fall in line, become another victim. Yeah. Of your society, so back down. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's conformity, but I'll give you that. Okay. So what are we on? So that's nine and a half out of ten, I believe. You you still can win this. This is not out of the realms of possibility. This is doable. Okay. okay. It will get more difficult. Okay, number six. Don't fix it if it hasn't broken yet. Uh, four years strong. Yeah, it is. Um, don't something if it hasn't 
It's it's one word changes in the next line if that helps from the first line. Is it tonight we feel alive? Oh, it's on that record, but it's not that one. It's the it, this one's the track op- uh, the album opener. Oh, that yeah, helps. really sucks to be four years strong. Right yeah. Now. Oh, love gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the uh, the lyric. Okay, that's fair. Oh no, I'll give you one point. One point. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next line is "Don't regret it if it hasn't happened yet." Or, Don't okay. regret it if it hasn't happened yet. Their new record is fantastic as well. I really. If you haven't, if you haven't heard it, it's definitely. No, check I haven't it checked it out yet. I haven't. It's, I need to give it a listen. It's killer. You get, yeah, it's awesome. Okay, uh, number seven. All I want is a place to call my own. Uh, day to remember, all I want. Yeah. And mend the hearts of everyone who feels alone. That was easy. You smashed that one in record time. Okay. Very good. So what we on one, two. You've only dropped one and a half points so far by the looks of it. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm. I was going to switch this one out, but because considering the news about Slam Dunk, I'm going to keep it in today. Okay. Number eight. Boot at the right please at the right time. Oh, no idea. They may have just been announced as uh, at Slam Dunk. I don't know if you've seen the news today. No, no idea. I have to pass that one. That's Alkaline Trio with Private Eye. Uh, Uh, I'll be dead wrong and you'll be just fine. Okay. Number nine. We're still still on for a high score here. Okay, number nine. I can feel the way I did before. Is it Lincoln Park? Yes, it is. Yes. I won't be ignored. What the? Oh, what song is it? There's a little Meteora. bit. Yeah, there's a little bit uh, before I won't be ignored. Is it faint? Is it song yes, it faint? is. Yes, yeah. it is. Um, don't turn your back on me. Yeah, so yeah, that's a solid two there. Great track. Amazing track. That, that's an underrated album, Meteor. I guess it came right under after Hybrid Fury, but yeah, that sure. Is a record, Good record. That one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number 10, last one. Here we go. No, stop 24 7. I know you're the only one missing. It's Don Broco. Yes, it is. I don't, I, but I don't know what song it is. It might be the album name. <laughs> That's a big clue. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. Okay. Idea, sorry. That's all right. That's Any a chance song that I, love, I love that song. It is a great tune. <laughs> Actually, that out. That's another cracking album, that one. Um, any chance in the next line or just the no, half? I'm, I'm blanking, man. I have no idea. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough. Um, uh, the track is technology, and the next line is all the others been messing around. Oh, oh no, I quit messing around. All the others been messing around. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, yes. good, good fun, man. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's do a quick add up to oh, 16. So that takes you into joint second place. Who, who am I in second place with? Uh, a band called Sinker. So, Sink, so you've got Milk Teeth and Take Flight t- still top of the tables, but they both had all the members doing the uh, the quiz. Uh, Sinker and 16. You beat Jamie Lenman, who did it two weeks ago. He got 15 and a half. Oh, no way. The great and powerful Jamie Lenman. I'll take I know. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, oh, yeah give him a message. He'll be, he was very competitive <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, he he couldn't believe it. Uh, Fox Jaw fifteen, uh, Vinny from Wallflower thirteen and a half, and then Lovett six. I think uh, yeah. do better than that. I'm I'm disappointed with him. Oh, so, well, he was he wanted another go. He he he, <laughs> he wasn't satisfied, but he was a lone wolf as well, just like yourself. Um, Henry, so thanks so much for coming on. Um, what can we what can we expect? Um, obviously the new album, but what for later in 2020? What can we expect from Boston Manor? <laughs> Well, honestly, it's it's anyone's guess, really, man. It just depends on what happens with this. We had a you know a whole year of touring books that's all been sort of either rescheduled or, or some of it's been cancelled, like our festivals and stuff. So, um, yeah, we we don't know. We we just have to wait and see, really. Um, but as soon as this um, sort of changes, we'll um, we'll we're gonna try and be on the road as much as possible. Awesome. So the there's a for, for the Londoners listening. There's a, you got a guy you got a gig penciled in for Electric Brixton on the seventh. Is that still happening or that might change? We're not the seventh sure. of when? August. Uh, yeah. No. Well, that tour's still still planned. You know, it's just 
just depends on, on on what happens. As far as I'm aware, that that will be going ahead. But I'm I'm just saying like there's anyone that thinks they can predict what's going to happen is is wrong. Like it's it's yeah. completely unpredictable. So we just have to wait and, and, and see what happens. As far as we're aware, it's going to go ahead in August. But you know that mm. could change. Well, I really that's only down the road for me, so I'll definitely pop down there. With, hopefully that's on, and hopefully the rest of your UK tour is still on. Um, but thanks so much for your time today. Really loved your Stapioki performance second for a lone wolf. That's insane. Um, and I can't wait for your new record, Glue. Uh, I'm fired up for it. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for having me. You're on so that was my chat with Henry Cox from Boston Manor. Lovely bloke, and thanks for his time once again. Let's put on some more new Boston Manor. This is their track, Everything is Ordinary. So that was my chat with Henry Cox from Boston Manor, aired on Rockology Hour, episode 79. Uh, and you can follow Boston Manor on the socials and Henry uh, at, he think he's like, eat your greens on Instagram um, and duck person on <laughs> Twitter. He makes it difficult to find him. And Boston Manor's uh, socials are Boston Manor without the vowels as B S T. N M R, I believe. Um, so yeah, you can follow, find those guys on the socials there. If you've not heard their new record, Glue, it's fantastic. Like I said in the intro, really, really good record. I can't believe how many incredible albums are coming out in 2020. Say what you want about 2020, it's been awful. But music-wise, for new records, it's been incredible. Um, so yeah, thanks again to Henry for coming on the show. Uh, follow Rockology Hour at Rockology Hour on Twitter and Instagram, and be sure to check out the website www.rockologyhour.com that's the mothership that's what has everything if you don't know where to go go there and then you'll find everything uh yeah so thanks again to henry for coming on the show check out glue if you've not heard it incredible record and keep an eye out for those guys on well with their touring and also festivals on that stuff of that nature um yeah subscribe to this podcast please and so you get it automatically in your feed every single week um, and also tweet at me or cite in the DMs any feedback, any comments, any guests you want on the show. I'm all ears like Andrew Marr. Uh, so, yeah, please do that. Make sure you stay safe. Make sure you stay sane. Have a good week. I'm off. <laughs>